Coming up on today's App Judgment, it's just in time for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. It's EA's aptly named 2010 FIFA World Cup for the iPhone and iPod Touch. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to www.gamefly.com slash appjudgment for your free trial membership. The FIFA World Cup starts in just a few days and we're going to play you guys first. We are going to destroy you. I'm not sure what you're talking about. When the English team takes the pitch, what they going to do is obliterate the bloody game. I don't think you guys give the United States soccer program enough respect that it deserves in the world stage. First off, it's called football. Second, who's ranked number 8 and who's ranked number 14 on the FIFA World Rankings? Oh, uh, just you wait until we call scoreboard on you. I play a lot of casual games on the iPhone, and let me start by telling you that FIFA World Cup Soccer on the iPhone is definitely not a casual game. It's got to be one of the most complex games I've ever played on a mobile device. In addition to a richly featured 11 on 11 gameplay, the 2010 FIFA World Cup game features over 100 international teams, complete with rosters of the real athletes and stars. But you can insert fake athletes like yourself into any team. I, of course, added myself to Team USA. In this mode, you play in the World Cup tournament and the focus is on you as much as it is on your team. The game will give your player experience based on positive and negative individual performance and even generates press about you and your team in between games. I actually don't like this game mode as much because you only control yourself on the field of play while influencing teammates' actions using shoot and pass button commands. Instead, I prefer FIFA World Cup mode. This mode still allows you to take your team of choice through World Cup qualifications or the World Cup Finals tournament, but with traditional gameplay in mind. So we'll get to that gameplay right after a shout out to our sponsor. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing a game, send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. If you really like the game, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. App Judgment fans get a 15-day free trial when they go to www.gamefly.com slash appjudgment. And now on to gameplay for 2010 FIFA World Cup. It's very involved with a lot of control features. You maneuver your player using what I would call a touchpad analog stick. Any player with the ball you control by default, but you can touch on any player on your team in order to control them. With the ball, your primary options are to pass and shoot. Depending on how you tap, double tap, or hold the pass and shoot buttons, you'll be able to control a more powerful shot, a longer pass, a quick one-two pass, and so on. The more you play the game, the more quickly these become instinct. There's also a skill button, which puts on a fancy move to evade your opponent. On defense, you can tackle and slide tackle. Slide tackling is more effective, especially when further away, but you run a higher risk of getting called for a foul. There are additional controls for free kicks and penalty kicks for both the goalkeeper and the shooter. In the game settings, you'll be able to choose the length of the games as well as the CPU skill of your opponent. The AI in the game is pretty darn impressive considering you're playing on a tiny little iPhone. Even better than playing against the CPU though, is head-to-head -head play against another person so long as they have the game installed and are within Bluetooth proximity or on the same local area network. Okay, let's get to the pros and cons starting with the pros. First, the game is technically advanced, it's not arcade-like and quite realistic and exactly what you'd expect from an EA Sports title. Second, the AI in the game is really impressive. The players against the field that you're on really know what they're doing and where to go and how to play together. Next, although the game is $4.99, you get your money's worth with it. It packs the punch of a full featured console game. The replay options are really amazing. You can replay from different angles, zoom in, zoom out, it's really cool. And lastly, the in-game commentary is great. You almost never hear the same comments mentioned twice in the same game. Well, he took the player out even though he didn't have the ball, but the referee missed it. And now onto the cons. The same thing as I listed as a pro, the game is technically advanced and not arcade style, which is what I consider to be the better style for games on the iPhone and iPod Touch. Next, you obstruct the screen too much of the time to control gameplay, and the screen is already too tiny to begin with. Now the touch screen is a bit difficult to manage. This type of game works better with a game controller, I think. And holding the game naturally in landscape mode makes you just happen to cover up the speaker with your hand. All in all, this is one of the most impressive games I've ever seen for the iPhone and iPod Touch. It reminds me of what EA Sports games on traditional consoles are all about. That said, I just don't know if that kind of a game experience is playable and properly rewarding on a tiny touchscreen handheld device. It's a tough, tough call because this $4.99 game is also the type you'd pay probably 50 bucks for on a console, but I gotta say, on a tiny iPhone touchscreen, it's just a don't download. 
There's no way your skills can match with our prowess. Wayne Rooney is a scrappy little bitch. Oh, now you've gone and left the handbrake off, you bloody muppet. What do you think? Let me know. Send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also find me on Twitter. My username is at Dale Prager. And don't forget, every Friday is viewer's choice, so tell us what you'd like to see us review. We're even using the YouTube moderator option for voting. Thanks for watching.